Now, as usual, uh, we're going to talk about the news and a lot of news coming out of the White House. But strangely enough, Donald Trump isn't the one making the news this time. I guess his... <laughs> I guess his meds are finally kicking in. I don't know. But... <laughs> no, uh, new White House communications director, Anthony Scaramucci, is on a real tear to stop leaks from the White House. We know this because someone in the White House leaked it. Um... <laughs> Scaramucci was livid last night after some of his financial information was leaked. So he went on Twitter and seemingly blamed Chief of Staff Wrights Priebus for the leak. But then he deleted the tweet later, which is a great start for a communications director. <laughs> um, now, I don't know. Wrights Priebus might be the leak, Scaramucci might be lying. Only one thing is certain, I can't spell either of their names. <laughs> right? <laughs> Reince Priebus. Like... Reince Priebus was leaking sounds like a medical condition. <laughs> oh, no, I just got out of the emergency room. My, uh, my Reince Priebus was leaking. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but boy, Scaramucci was mad. He didn't want his fin financial information out there, mainly because he made most of his money by playing extras on The Sopranos. <laughs> um, and it's... It's pretty obvious, it's pretty obvious that Scaramucci and Priebus are not getting along. Take a look at this recent photo. Look at that. I mean... <laughs> I can see why the White House doesn't believe in global warning, warming, because that place looks cold. <laughs> I guarantee you, when that photo was happening, Scaramucci did one of these. Uh, <laughs> yeah? Come on, Emma. <laughs> Now, that wasn't the only thing Scaramucci did yesterday. He also gave a lot of interviews, including one where he seemed to compare Trump's fight to repeal Obamacare with the struggles Abraham Lincoln faced abolishing slavery. I mean, you cannot compare Abraham Lincoln with Donald Trump. Like, one of them is from a highly divided and racially charged time in this nation's history, and the other is Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> No comparison. The only thing Donald Trump and Abraham Lincoln have in common is they both wore silly hats. <laughs> now, just when you thought Scaramucci couldn't get any crazier, this afternoon, The New Yorker released an interview where Scaramucci said that, unlike Steve Bannon... Now, I have to be careful how I said this. So he called a journalist at The New Yorker and he said, unlike Steve Bannon, I don't try to pleasure myself with my own mouth. That's what he said. <laughs> he said that Steve Bannon does that. So, just to be clear, that's the White House communications director <laughs> talking about the chief strategist in The New Yorker. Like, <laughs> what does this guy say in private? <laughs> also, is this the reason we haven't seen Steve Bannon lately? <laughs> And people were like, people like, hey, hey, Steve, uh, we got a meeting. And he's like... <laughs> um... Come on, you're too good for that. <laughs> Steve? <laughs> Ooh, no. Finally, finally tonight, some big news out of the world of publishing. Hillary Clinton announced she will be releasing her memoir about the 2016 presidential campaign titled What Happened. <laughs> it's absolutely true. The book will be released in hardback, Kindle, and 30,000 emails you won't be able to find. <laughs> um, Hillary's book... <laughs> the book is about... The book's about the election and is expected to do very, very well, although my hunch is it will probably underperform in Michigan, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. <laughs> uh, now, here's a picture. This is a true picture. This is what Hillary's book is going to look like. There it is, What Happened. Now, that's a good title, but what happened is that Trump got elected president. The title needs to be more descriptive. It should be more like, what the f***?